Hi everyone, this is Tyler again here with Woodland Frenchies. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's February 3rd at the time of this video. It's really cold and we have a really kind of a nice cold spell going on up here in Ohio. So hope you all are staying warm wherever you're located at. Today we have another great video for you guys. Excited to you know, talk on a, a topic that everybody asks that we, we're getting a lot of questions about right now apparently. So I just want to do a quick video on that. So yeah, for today's video, we're going to talk about what dictates the price of a French Bulldog. I have about four different topics that we're going to go into that really kind of um, go into the price of a French Bulldog, um, some more than others. So we're going to go ahead and yeah, talk about those four different um, pillars to what dictates the price. So, But yeah, if this is your first time uh, on our YouTube channel, if you don't know who we are, obviously we raise French Bulldogs, French Fins, Mini Old English Bulldogs and just really have a passion for the breed and normally I have Stella with me um, but she's with her mom today. Uh, mom's off work so she gets to stay home normally she come with me everywhere I go but yeah she's an off day today so maybe in the next video you'll see Stella our Frenchie. So yeah guys we're just really passionate about the breeds and helping you guys with any questions or uh, any type of videos you guys are looking to see so hopefully you guys subscribe and um, yeah we see you in the future. But yeah getting back to today's video. We'll go with the first thing that dictates the price of a French Bulldog and we're not going to actually get into the prices but just what again what affects the price. So the first thing we're going to talk about is confirmation and with confirmation we can break it down into so basically confirmation is just the overall size, um, look, um, different features on the French Bulldog. So the most desirable features I would say of a French Bulldog with, again is a nice round head, round muzzle. Um, most and it's totally fine if you have one that don't have this confirmation there's nothing against your Frenchie or other people's Frenchie but I'm just saying the most desirable one um, in our opinion again is the one with the bigger head round muzzle and again short stocky um, um, feet or legs um, with a nice ch chunky body so that's, that's the main thing and, um, and then, then you can kind of get into you know, size with the confirmation. So there's, you know, smaller ones that might be around the 20 to 25 pound range and they can get all the way up to 35 pounds. So um, I would say the smaller sizes is the most desirable, which um, dictates the price. But yeah, if you have really good confirmation on your French Bulldog as a breeder, that's gonna definitely help um, increase the price. If it has a longer pointy nose or say it's a little bit more skinnier then you're probably not gonna get quite as much for your French Bulldog. The second thing would be color. Now color is probably, honestly, the most thing that affects the price of a French Bulldog. And I think a lot of people are starting to understand this. And we'll go over the top colors and maybe the bottom colors to help you guys understand kind of the different price layers or different colors that kind of have different layers. So we'll start with the bottom. So the bottom, the most, the most least desirable colors, and again, all Frenchies are great. This is like no offense to any Frenchie you guys have out there. We love them all, but just, just putting out the facts. A cream color, a light fawn, a brindle, uh, and also like a pied color, as long as it's a, not a merle pied, but kind of all white with you know black spots or chocolate spots or fawn spots on it. Those are on the lower end of the price factor for a French Bulldog. Then if we go to the high end, we're going to definitely see all the way at the top, you're going to have any of the Merles, whether it's a lilac, blue Merle, chocolate Merle. So any of the Merles are going to be at the, the way top. Then you're going to have the lilacs and the solid blues. And um, I would say those three are definitely definitely the top. The, the, the Merle's the lilac and blue colored Frenchies are going to be the most expensive Frenchies as far as most desirable, which means, yeah, again, most desirable, what everybody wants. And then you have your kind of more generic um, colors in, in the middle. So, so yeah, the first one is confirmation. Second thing that affects the price is the color. We just went through the different layers of um, colors that on, on the different scale of pricing. Then the third thing would be health. And this honestly is probably one of the biggest ones. Um, so as long as, you know, different things that affect, that you should have with your Frenchie is just your AKC paperwork, 
have the parents health tested, um, just know, kind of have like the breeders that I look at family tree or just understand, you know, the puppies that they're keeping back for to breed um, are coming from very healthy puppies. And I mean, that's really all there is. I mean, as long as you have a healthy dog, you got good bloodlines, you got good paperwork, all that stuff, then you can get more for your French Bulldog puppy because of that. Uh, last and final part of what affects a French Bulldog class and all these are very important but this one's just right up there and that is trust so buying from somebody you trust you know, like you're gonna pay more for a puppy um, by buying it from somebody that you trust if you just randomly call somebody you haven't first time seeing them they don't necessarily have everything like you know a really nice website or there's not much to their name not many reviews you know you're probably not gonna, most people aren't gonna necessarily buy from them, or if they did, it's gonna be at a lower price um, because a lot of people are gonna pass on that person. So that they'll, they're, for them, they'll have to bring their prices down. So the, the people that are, you know, that you follow, that you see, that you understand and appreciate what they're doing, that have social media, that have the website, that have their good reviews, those people, you know, are gonna wanna, are gonna be obviously um, finding homes for their puppies at a higher cost because they're very trusted and that's what most people when they buy a puppy they want to know that their puppy's coming from a good home somebody that they can trust that knows that they're that they are getting the best puppy possible and that is probably I mean it's right up there with the color um, as far as you know what, what dictates the price of a puppy and so yeah those are the four different things that affect or dictate the price of a, of a French Bulldog. It's trust, color, confirmation, and health. Hopefully this help video helped you guys, whether you're a puppy customer, whether you're looking to raise French Bulldogs, um, whether you're just researching the price of a French Bulldog and you're trying to figure out, you know, do I need to be at the more lower end um, or, you know, should I buy a more higher, like higher end price, you know? And these are all the different factors to, t to consider when adopting a French Bulldog. So, yeah, if you guys really like this video, feel free to give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And again, as soon as this video is over, definitely subscribe. We have some really cool videos coming up. We got some really cool uh, litter updates that we're going to be doing this week. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we got some Frenchton puppies that were just born. So yeah, a lot of things going on. We're really excited, and hope you guys are going to be a part of that and see the next litter. Litters, thanks, and have a great day.